Today. Hell has frozen over. Square Enix is listening to customer feedback. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where I've just finished the last of my Halloween candy. Just? Yeah, Halloween was like six days ago. No, no, no. The trick is you just eat it all at once that night. Then what happens? Then you don't sleep or poop for four days. Terrific. The newest attractions for the Wii U's Nintendo Land have been announced. Yoshi's Fruit Cart, which sounds like a sex thing, Captain Falcon's Twister Race, which really sounds like a sex thing, and The Octopus Dance, which is definitely a sex thing. I guess Nintendo is trying to catch a more mature market with the Wii U. Skyrim is getting a premium edition in Europe that features none of the DLC release so far, but does include a world map, t-shirt, novel, and a disc of special features. Which is great, I guess, if you don't have Skyrim yet. For once, Europe gets something all to itself, but it's crappy. Ha ha! Do you want the sharpshooter character for Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer? Do you like NOS? Good! Until January 31st, the only way to get the sharpshooter is by looking under the cap for NOS points and redeeming them. On the upside, you only need one NOS point, which is one bottle of NOS, but even that is asking a lot. Racing game Forza Horizon now has a smart glass component, i.e. you can use a Windows 8 tablet to look at the in-game map at any time, rather than having to stop your game and look at it on the pause menu. Because it's not distracting at all to read something while you're trying to drive. That's why you're allowed to do it in real life. But this is spectacularly impractical, you protest. No, it's using the smart glass component to replicate the real-life rally experience, where you have a driver and a navigator. That's cool. Although it still needs a Windows 8 tablet and someone dumb enough to want to look at a fake map while you fake drive around fake Colorado. So it's still ridiculously impractical, but cool for one person. Namco is in trouble for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 because the Saudi Arabia level has Arabic text on the floor that says Allah, which unsurprisingly some people aren't cool with. This mere weeks after the favela level gets removed from Modern Warfare 2. Stop doing this. If you want to put Arabic writing in your level for friggin' decoration, could you please check these things? Get a translator or someone to write the quick brown fox or something like that, and use that. If you rely on Google Image Search, you will die by Google Image Search. Trust us. We have. You know how Square Enix charges a lot for its iOS games? Well, player gripes over purchase prices that range from $12 to $20 are amazingly not falling on deaf ears. According to Anthony Douglas, Squeenix's general manager for mobile in Europe, they're seeing the feedback and there will probably be changes in the way that it's structured. Victory, right? Wrong. He said changes in the way it's structured. That doesn't mean charging less. It means charging the same in different, more irritating ways. If we don't like paying $20 for an iOS game, they're going to repeat what they did with Demon's Score, which is charge a much lower upfront purchase price and then nickel and dime us with in-app purchases until we've paid $40. That is not better. Now we have to start a letter writing campaign saying how happy we are to pay $19 for Chaos Rings 2. Look at how happy I am! I just can't stress enough how much I recommend eating a whole ton of chocolate. Are you serious that you would deny me rage pooping over in-app purchases? Uh, I would never deny anyone the joy of rage pooping. Coming up, Disney now owns LucasArts and all their old game licenses, so now a different massive company can completely ignore Grim Fandango, The Dig, and Day of the Tentacle. 